To celebrate the arrival of all the new Marvel projects, we're doing a massive giveaway on the channel. To enter to win a Hot Toys Replica Infinity Gauntlet, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and tell me in the comments of this video what your favorite Marvel movie is. After a month, one lucky viewer will be selected to win a life-sized Infinity Gauntlet. In Infinity War, many have pointed out that Thanos never goes out of his way to kill anyone. Although this may seem like a missable detail, there is actually some huge plot stuff that goes behind this, and why Thanos never actually tries to kill any of the Avengers. Except for one. This one Avenger is Iron Man, and this is why at the end of the Battle of Titan, Thanos actually goes out of his way to kill Iron Man. Of course we know Iron Man's death was averted when Doctor Strange offered him the Time Stone, but we do know that Thanos would have gone through with it and would have killed Tony Stark. Besides this though, Thanos actually goes out of his way not to kill any of the Avengers or Guardians of the Galaxy, as he simply incapacitates all of them. This is what the director said about this, and Thanos' intention behind not wanting to kill anyone that he didn't absolutely have to, as well as why Iron Man made the shortlist. Thanos is violent and cruel. It's interesting because as Thanos moves forward from this moment, once he disposes of his armor, he almost becomes a holy warrior. He doesn't spend a lot of his energy intentionally trying to murder people unless they are in some way a threat to his agenda. Almost no one ends up being a threat to the agenda except for Tony, who I think he feels has a sort of existential connection to Thanos. Earlier, we learned exactly why Thanos feels as if Iron Man is the only threat to him. We also learned that the reason Thanos knows Tony Stark is not because of the Soul Stone, but because of the events of the first Avengers film. This is exactly what was said. When it comes down to it, Thanos knows Stark is the man who thwarted his efforts to take over Earth via Loki in 2012's The Avengers, which is why he's aware of Stark from the original Battle of New York as the person who undid the original plan. This explains exactly why Thanos believes that Iron Man is the only true threat, as he's undone his plans before. In Thanos' mind, Iron Man is the one that is solely responsible for why Loki was unable to take over the Earth in The Avengers. It is because of Iron Man that he lost, and in Thanos' mind, he has been beaten by Iron Man before. You realize this interesting parallel between Thanos and Tony. They're both aware of something from an early point and constantly having to deal with being smarter. Thanos is a futurist as much as Tony is. This is in fact why Thanos tells Tony that he is burdened with knowledge. In Thanos' mind, this knowledge is the fact that the universe will not be able to sustain itself unless the snap occurs, while for Tony, it's that an alien invasion is imminent. This is the burden that Thanos is referencing. As many have theorized following Infinity War, this could absolutely be the case that Tony Stark is the real threat to Thanos and his plan. This is why Doctor Strange goes to such lengths, including sacrificing the Time Stone in order to save the life of Iron Man. As always though, we'll have to wait to see the conclusion in Avengers 4, and how the rest of the Avengers return, as well as how Iron Man is the key to everything. But what are your thoughts on this, and why Tony Stark was the only Avenger that Thanos really considered killing? Also, do you believe that Iron Man is the real threat to Thanos, or are there other Avengers that now Thanos believes poses a threat, as he will be less merciful in Avengers 4? Thank you guys as always so much for watching, subscribe to join the team, and have a great day.